Hello, hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome. I am Aquarian Simmer. If you're not new here, oh, what's up? How you doing? First off, I am going to apologize for my lack of activity. I have been working on um, this save as well as a couple others. Trying to get everything more up to date, trying to get everything um, to help with story progression and all of that. So I do apologize after my trip. I realized how much work I actually had to get done and I kind of rushed to try to get all of that done. So I truly apologize. Um, today we are here with our new LP, even though it's more of like a, um, it's more like a reboot of an LP. Let's just put it that way. But, um, we are here with the Joy of Life Challenge. Um, I was going to use the family that I used before, but I changed my mind. Primarily because I... I don't want to say I feel like I rushed things with that family. In a way, I kind of sort of did. But, I mean, eh, y'all know how this game gets. Um, but we are here with a new family. This is the Mills household. And... Um, Sleeping Beauty here, this is our, I guess you could say our heir, quote unquote. This is Penelope, Penelope Mills Alvarez. Um, she is 17, she is a senior at Copperdale High, and she is the daughter of Alyssa Mills and Julio Alvarez. Um, her father actually passed away when she was really, really young, so she never got to meet her dad or anything like that. Um, uh, her dad's family wasn't very fond of her mom, so they didn't really, you know, don't really associate with Penelope, sadly. Um, she is the only child. She, um, her mom didn't really want to go out and date again. She really, really loved Julio. She thought that he was just the best man ever. So losing him really took a toll on her, and she just didn't want to go through that again. There's a possibility she could, but, you know, hmm. But um, Penelope comes from a family of very headstrong women. Um, like I said, she was raised by a single mother and her grandmother. So, yeah. Um, her mom is a chef, and her grandma is a food critic. So... Um, one of her favorite hobbies is baking with her mom and her grandma. She's not the best baker, but, you know, she tries. She tries. Um, she's really into photography, and she loves hanging out with her two best friends, Sarah and Jack. Um, also, I know that one of the rules in the, um, with the Joy of Life challenge is you're supposed to blind date, but... There was this one sim that one of my favorite male sim creators made, and I absolutely fell in love with him, and I've been looking for a reason to use him, and when I saw him, I said, yes, absolutely, the Joy of Life Challenge. So, she will not be doing blind dates. She might date around before they settle, you know, before they get together. I don't know yet. Who knows? But, um... The guy that she has been crushing on since she was in, like, second, third grade, his name is Riley. Um, Riley lives in... Actually, I will show you guys Riley. Oh, wrong one. Whoopsies. Um, this is Riley. Um, Riley lives in... Chestnut Ridge. Um, Riley didn't know his mom or dad. Um, he was raised by his grandfather, and um, he takes up uh, he takes care of the ranch that his grandfather left, completely by himself. Um, he doesn't have much. He lives in a very very small little cottage or cabin I guess you could call it by himself he has a horse named Clover that's it um he tries to grow things but he doesn't have the best green thumb um he absolutely loves his horse loves 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 his horse um his horse actually was a gift from his grandpa when he was younger um when he turned 10 years old his grandpa got him a horse and it has been his 
best friend ever since. So, um, he has had a huge crush on Penelope since they were kids. Um, he always thought that she was really, really pretty. He used to always tell his grandpa that he wouldn't marry Penelope. And his grandpa was like, I'm going to hold you to that. But unfortunately, his grandpa had terminal cancer and did not get to see that. So, um, this is, uh, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and just play. This is Penelope's room. Um, she's got, oh, I think she's got her camera in her pocket. She got her noodles. She's got a little diary here. Sadly, she can't use it. That's it's a it's not the base game one, but she's got a book here. She's got her Black Girl Magic um, sketchbook here. She's got a little safe in here that she keeps um, things she's not supposed to keep. Um, she has so the decorating her room was by far one of my favorites. Um, she's got all of these positive affirmations around here. She's got these beautiful, beautiful paintings here. I cannot remember which creator made these, um, but I can show y'all. Uno momento. Um, these are by... Um, where is it? Hello? Am I, am I the problem? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Um, Forever Esther. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love these so much. Um, she's got a little bag up here. She's got some uh, fashion books up here as well. Um... Penelope's not your typical girly girl. She's definitely a Kind of like a girly girl meets a tomboy. I mean, come on. She has a, a skateboard over here. She used to skateboard with Jack. Um, this is um, her friend Jack. She thinks he's really, really cute. She also thinks the same thing about Riley. So, you know, there's that. Um, this is Sophia. This is one of her friends from school. And this is Sarah. As you can see, her and Sarah are deeply, com uh, deeply connected. Sarah's super duper cute. Um, but yes, and her mom is back home from work. Miss Mamas, please come home. Uh, not come home. Come up here and go to bed. Her mom's room is very, very, you know, basic. She She's A-OK -okay with the bare necessities. Um, also, you guys may see people for, like Aiden from um, K is for Calais. Um, with that being canceled, I did add um those into this lp i thought that'd be a good addition um i want to say these are by zarela i believe and i love these two i love all of them um her mom is really into yoga um her mom is also awake girl go to bed do i need to cheat your sleep too because i do it go sleep um, this is her grandmother, Delaney. I don't know why Delaney is awake at this owl. Miss Ma'am, please. Come here and go to bed. If y'all get back up, I promise you I'm cheating y'all sleep. I need y'all in the bed. She wake up to get some brownies. Lord Jesus. Anywho. Um, Jack is your, um, not so typical... He's um he's supposed to be a bad boy, but um he dabbles in um oregano dealing. Let's just put it that way. And um yeah. That's what Jack is known for. Oh well girl, I done stole your blanket and your pillows, my bad girl. Uh that's what Jack is known for at school, sadly, is um him dabbling in the the devil's lettuce, so. Oh, Lord, everybody awake. At 4 o'clock in the morning? Girl! Please go to bed. Please, go to bed. Grandma said, oh, I got to pee. All right, come in here, use the bathroom. Lord Jesus, I just want y'all to stay asleep. That's it. Oh, Penelope's traits. Um, she is good, cheerful. She is a foodie, and she's also a what's up girl. The go ahead to invite some friends for a sleepover. Girl, not on a school night. 
But she's good, cheerful. She has the foodie trait, which is a requirement with um, the Generation 1 of the Joy of Life Challenge. She's romantic. She has the marketable trait, which is also a requirement. Um, she's a part of the floaters group. She does not really care about being popular at all. She is uh, gregarious, which, you know, she builds friendly relationships faster. She has the jest uh, jester major uh, impression personality, and she has the innocent minor impression personality. So, that's my girl. She's so cute. Like, she's so beautiful. I don't know why she don't use her door. I'm so serious. I'm about to lock this door for her because, ma'am, this is not a little cheat way. Lock door for everybody. Everyone. Because girl, what? Um, she does have this little ensuite bathroom. Um It's one that her and her mom are supposed to share, share, but her mom primarily uses this one down here. So Brown is your breakfast girl, really, really. Um, as for her skills, um, as you can tell, I, I played very little, um, off camera, or, yeah, I'm just gonna say off camera, but whatever. I ain't got a camera, but we off camera. Anywho, um, I did play a little bit because, um, coming up this Saturday is their senior prom. Um, uh, Penelope is a senior, as is all of her friends, and they are going to be graduating, um, the Monday after prom. So, um, we're not doing a, a complete rags to riches, but since I have yet to do anything with the for rent pack, I will be having her in a little apartment, and we're gonna kinda sorta try to, you know, have that as a, you know... First place for her to live. She wants to be on her own and all of that. And um, that's what we gonna do. Um, come over here and check yourself out. Feel good about yourself. Also, she does have the little origami crane tattoo. Um, her mom actually went with her on her uh, 17th birthday to go and get it. It was her birthday present from her mom. Um, but yeah. As for her outfits, um, she has some pretty cute outfits. Um, today I'm feeling, um, let's do, oh, let's just do this one. And she's so cute. But yes, um, I want you to come up here and brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Um, do you need to take a shot? No. Hygiene is good. So that's good. Um, I don't think she is going to have um, her uh, lady friend in town for a while, but she got good and plenty up here. Um, this rose is actually one that her grandma found for her one day and uh, brought it home for her. Thought that was super duper cute. Her grandma always is always 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 thinking about her granddaughter. So, um, we are in the base game high school. I wanted to put a um a custom one down, but I have here we are. But uh, with the um with some of the other generations, I will probably put a different house down. So, not a different house, Jesus, a different school down. So. Just make things a little bit cooler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, with prom coming up, um, she was talking with, um, where's Sarah? Sarah! She was talking with Sarah, 
And uh, she's like, I really, really want to go to prom, but I don't want to go by myself. And Sarah plans on going with... Um, um, Jack had asked her, she's like, you know, hey, do you want to go together? And she's like, yeah, sure, whatever, why not? And, uh, you know, she's like, I want to go too, but I also want to go with, you know, like, I have, like, a date to go. She's like, Sarah! Oh, okay, Sarah almost got your head to go, girl! Um. Also, um, this is Jack. Not Jack, Jesus. This is Riley. As you can see, he's so cute. Um, I'm changing him out of this because he's not a part of the chess club. He's a part of the football team. So, um, he is also very much a country boy. Like, he is very much a country boy. <laughs> he can show up to school in his cowboy boots and a, and a baseball cap, and he don't care. So, um, also, there are some other Sims you guys have probably never seen before. This is Savannah, um, and this is her twin brother, Skylar. Um, I made them originally for the Werewolf Pack. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's that. Um, and of course, we have the regular teens. We have Hugo. Um, Allison is here as well. Like I said, all of the caves for Calais teens are here. Everybody going down to the basement. And for why? Um, y'all, okay, but can we talk about how this Mal uh, uh, Malcolm Langrab makeover went because hello this is the first time i've ever made him over and i think that i did pretty good um we have um cassandra goth right here next to him which um penelope is somewhat friends with her um yeah we have noah kane here which uh him and ryler are actually pretty good friends I love how everyone has migrated to the basement. Chad even got the principal down here. Oh, and we have uh, Wolfgang Munch. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw this. I posted a screenshot of him because, wow. Oh, where's my girl? Sweetheart. Oh. Standing out in the rain. Okay. Um, she don't like Rohan. I don't know what Rohan did, but she's not a fan of him, so. I don't know what happened between them two, but anywho. Um, this is also her locker. She puts these cute little stickers up. And Riley's is right next to her. And I thought that was super duper cute. Um, sign locker to Sam. Let's give this locker to... Let's give it to Sarah. Why not? Grandma, time you go work. Um, as for your mom, um, never mind then. Oh, she also thinks Antonio is cute. Okay, girl. Are you going to, um, girl, I hate to tell you, but he's into probably him. Honestly, <laughs> I hate to tell you that, girl, but, I mean, you can still say hi, I guess. Or not. Oh, wait, I wouldn't even select it on her. Oops. Okay, game. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's gonna do that one weird thing because I literally only see one of the teachers on the lot. I don't know where the other one is, so... Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, see one teacher on the lot, and she's not even in her classroom. What is going on? Yeah, I'll, I'll have this fixed in the the next episode. I don't know what is going on. I really, really don't. But I guess we're gonna teach ourselves today, cause period. Yeah, see, the other teacher, the teacher that is literally supposed to be base game, the, um, 
I don't want to butcher that man's name, but he's set to be the teacher in one of these classrooms. I don't know why he's not showing up, but you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna give us a uh child who calling me in class? Child bye. I don't know you. Stranger danger. You wonder the folks trying to kidnap me, sell me on the black market. Um I'm going to see if this will work. I can't remember if I did it in one of my other LBs, but um with the mod that I have for the teens. Uh, well, specifically for the high schools, we're just going to ignore that I put it in the bush, okay? Um, go here, will it show up? Faculty, teachers, classroom one, add you, please. <laughs> Did it fix it? Maybe it'll fix it once I go home, but anywho. Um, but um, she is going to be asking Riley if he would like to go to prom with her as friends. You know, even though she likes him, she's not going to be, you know, extra. Um, I can't ask it just yet. I think I have to wait until the Friday before prom. So next episode, she will definitely be asking him. Which I think is super duper cute. Girl, how are you going to sleep? Hello? Oh, uh -huh. I like how you attended social studies with no teacher, period. Aurelio, can you please leave him alone? You standing there kind of menacingly like you're at the box. All right, come in here, use the bathroom. And, um, I guess, oh, look at that. Mm. We had a little snack in our lock or whatever. Miss Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to get up, please. Up out this chair, please. Please teach something. I'm begging you. Not gonna lie, I thought about just saying forget it and just putting all of the students in one classroom. Then I was like, that might overload some things. But anywho, um, oh, she's gonna go talk to Riley. Oh, she's showing him a funny video. Chat. She said, come look at this TikTok. <laughs> Where you get tacos from? Who oh, wants tacos? <clears throat> like I said, her and Riley, they, they've been, you know, somewhat friends, acquaintances, or whatever for years. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> um, I guess you can uh, talk to Antonio. That's exactly what you're going to go do, too. Girl, at least give him a friendly introduction before you show him a TikTok. Hello? Is this how uh you youngsters socialize nowadays? Um, let's see what this is. Penelope thinks he's annoying and he thinks she is responsible, amazing compatibility, extremely attractive. But is this Post or pre Calais? I'm curious. What do you think of Penelope? Girl, leave him be. <laughs> leave him be. He is not interested, baby. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, Car got a little crush on him. Girl, come on, man. They also do live together in an apartment, so, you know, anything could happen. There's no guarantee that, you know, 
that they are going to um, not check up with each other, but it is a possibility that they will. So, um, also, I did, I do believe I somewhat fixed the whole prom thing, how it was uh, cooperating one minute, not cooperating the next. Lag, please go away. Game, please. Okay, there we go. Um, would you like to study for your exams, girl? Sure, why not? You got 30 minutes to study for this exam. All right, who in here doing the T-pose challenge? Who is it? I'm sure one of y'all is over here doing it. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Ask how to be popular. Girl, you don't care. Okay, leave that boy alone. Dang. Attend your language arts class once you're done studying for this exam. Period. But yes, her and... Oh. Her and uh, Cassandra Goth, they are... Uh, Cassandra thinks she's annoying, but they get along, which is so weird. And uh, quiet as his kit, Cassandra also got a little crush on Riley. Everybody like Riley, but I hate to tell her, Riley only really like one person, and that's her. So, sorry, bud. Now don't get off your phones and pay attention to the teacher that's supposed to be standing here, but I ain't. We're just gonna say this is a free day. The teacher's running behind. Chad, where is the teacher? How the teacher and the principal both down now? Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. We're gonna get this set with y'all, I promise. Even if I got to put all these kids in a, a classroom together, I'm gonna do it. But I mean, they're all seniors, so I mean, it's all right. It's their final days anyway, so I don't think it really matters. But I will return once she is back at home. All right, guys. <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. We are back here at the house. Um, something actually happened as soon as I hit stop record. Um, <laughs> Riley asked her to prom. So, the things are moving a little bit quicker than I wanted to, so it's fine. Um, next episode, uh, they're, I'm definitely going to be doing their prom. Um, that also gives me time to kind of find where she's going to be at. I'm still currently doing that. She's turning on some music. She's currently talking to Sarah, telling her, Oh my god, I can't believe he asked me before I could ask him. So, yeah, they're, they're going to prom. I wonder if it actually pops up. Yeah, prom date. So, I thought that was super duper cute. But, um, they, uh, but pretty much she asked him as he was going to ask her. So, it was kind of collided with each other. So, I thought that was super duper cute. Um... Being a school girl, you ain't even at school right now. Um, her and her friends are actually gonna go out to the uh, there's a little nightclub slash lounge that they all like to go to, and they're gonna be going tonight. Um, so we're gonna take Jack and Sarah, probably Antonio, Wolfgang, Sophia. We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> but I do think I'm going to have her change. Um, oh, I forgot. These are two mirrors. Actually, come and check yourself out. I want you to feel good about yourself. And we are going to get these things in your pocket. 
because when disaster strikes, we want to be prepared. Um, all right, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and head out. And she knows the rules. She knows, you know, be home before 11. And if she ain't, then, well, <laughs> she home for her 11. Her grandma going to uh, probably put her in that chokehold. All right, let's go with Jack, Sarah, Sophia, Wolfgang, Antonio, Cassandra, and e I don't know if Riley would go. I don't feel like right. Who knows? Who knows? We'll find out eventually. Oh lord, that means I'm gonna have to. Oh uh, y'all, it's gonna be a little bit before the next episode because once I'm done recording this one, I'm going to set up the auditorium. I've got to get everyone's outfits made. Oh, Lord Jesus, why is Jack here in his drawls? Everybody here in the underwear. You know what? Whatever. Let's just get inside. Um, let's all just dance together. Why not? Oh, I need to turn the music down on this. Hello? There we go, because you're interfering with my music, and that ain't cute. Okay, I need you to, um, I need y'all to put on actual clothing because, <laughs> Jesus. Am I not going to be able to? Hello, game? Do you still have, okay, there we go. That works. That'll work. I actually need to change this, um, I need to, um, See if Little Miss Sam's mod to change it to just like a teen lot because that's how I want this to be. I want it to be just teens. So, so Jack actually, like, they've you know had um, Jack used to have like major feelings for Penelope and. Uh, he was always like, oh, she'll never be into me. She'll never like someone like me. So, you know. He never acted on them. But. Um, he He's kind of conflicted. Because he knows they're seniors. And he wants to, you know. At least attempt to date her. But, yeah. The Artist Collective are so dramatic and loud. They're not as bad as other groups. True, but still. Okay. Girl, why are you such a good friend with Wolfgang? Penelope just befriended a romance enthusiast. Sure. Um. Talk with Wolfgang, I guess. Um. Ask him how he's been. My lord, y'all is cutting the rugs and everything. Where's she at? Where's she at? Cause she getting get by Octavia. Get out. And don't come back. For now, there ain't no way. <laughs> this is your first words that you said to this boy. Ain't no way. Oh, really? There's a way. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh. Not you into the bad boys. Penelope, I need you to make up your mind, please, ma'am. You crushing on too many people. Um... Claim to be prom royalty. Oh, he's mean. Never mind. No, ma'am. Girl, all I see are red flags. Good and plenty of them. Well, 
what celebrity is out here now? Please, I'm begging Thorn, go away. I'm y'all, I'm fixing this lot. As soon as I'm done recording this episode, I'm fixing this lot. I don't want no celebrities. I don't want no adults. I specifically want teens, except for the bartender and the DJ. That's it. Oh, Cassandra's crushing on Jack. Oh. Um, let's talk with her and, oh yeah, she's crushing big time on that boy. Um, discuss world peace. De Girl, is your dome all right? That look like it hurt. You know what? That ain't none of my business. I need to be focused on, uh, my baby right now. She's so cute. Oh, your mama's calling you, girl. Girl, I live with you. Huh? Girl, go home. I think she's going to go home and she's probably going to talk with Riley, see what color scheme they're going to go with and all of the things like that. Um, she does remember that he really likes the color blue, so they might go with a, um, a blue theme, you know, blue dress, blue suit, who knows. Don't slip in that puddle. Oh, well, never mind. My poor baby. Oh, is that Dawn? Oh no, never mind. He just looked like a. I'm not gonna say that word. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word. Okay. Oh, boy, baby. Oh, what is this? Girl. Um, come up here. I have to do that weird thing. This is one of those chairs where I have to have her sit and then she uses the computer instead of just clicking on the computer. But it's fine. Um, socialize, chat with... Riley. Yes, I know they acquaintances. You ain't gotta leave it on the screen like that. Dang. Oh, your mom's in here watching Grey's Anatomy from the looks of it. All right then, Grandma, you ain't cooking dinner. No, she's just cleaning up. And grandma tired. So grandma going to be Mama D said good night. Um do a um let's just do a Girl, make you make a party size of these hamburger sliders. Why are you outside? Girl, get out the get out the bushes. Oh Lord Jesus. Okay. I was scared for a second. Alright, they're talking. Oh, they're friends now. I mean they're more than friends. Uh, well, they're friends, but they've been friends for a while. Oh, wow, they just y'all know how the relationships work in this game. And obviously, her mom is going to want to take a butt ton of pictures, especially their prom pictures. So we'll see how that goes. 
<laughs> um, I will be, like I said, it's going to take me a little bit, probably a couple days to get everything set up because I am still working on, um, I'm working on getting everything set up for, um, all of the other LPs. I mean, we have, um, Finding Romeo that I'm still working on stuff. We have, um, which other one? Soren's Ranch. We still have stuff with here, with that LP. Just got a lot of stuff that I've got to, um, work on and work towards and all of that. I gotta give her a makeover. That's gonna be cute. She's not gonna add her mama on there. But she can. Oh, okay. Shutting in like a celeb, living my best life, and dancing like nobody's watching. Is that how you gonna be a prom girl? I still gotta set up everything, so I wouldn't get too crazy just yet, baby. Please. But I am going to end the episode here. We're ending off on a good foot. Her and Riley, their friendship is going really quick. Like, they were just acquaintances and they're already at 50. So that that's absolutely insane. But I am going to end the episode here. Whoop, whoop, whoopsies. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this LP so far. I know the first episode of LPs are always short. Next episode will be a little bit longer since they do have prom. Um, it's going to be good. Um, she will still go to school a little bit after prom. Because, um, well, the graduation thing. Um, with me playing on a long um, lifespan because I... I like to control when my Sims, you know, age up when they kick the bucket and all that. So I prefer to play on the long lifespan. And because of that, I, I've i never played with like the, the graduation thing in the high school pack. So yeah, there's that. But um, <clears throat> I still have to find like where she's going to live after graduation. Um... I want her to open a bakery, and I'm going to have to get the bakery made. Um, I want her to um, I gotta pretty much, I have everything planned, I just have to figure out where, what's going to go, why, and how, so yes. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day or night, depending on when and where you're watching this. I hope you guys are staying hydrated, drinking your water. I hope you guys are remembering to be kind, and I hope you guys are staying safe. Until the next video, bye guys.